Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Benjamin Wharton, and today is another episode of Ben's English News. Today's story is another Instagram-related story. The title is Instagram Fact Check. Can a new flagging tool stop fake news? So, this is a story again from the BBC, so please check out the link below to read along with me. Okay, let's get into it. Facebook has launched a new feature allowing Instagram users to flag posts they think contain fake news to its fact-checking partners for verification. But questions remain as to whether it goes far enough to counter the amount of disinformation on the image sharing platform. The move is a part of a wider raft of measures the social media giant has taken to tackle the problem of fake news on social media. Facebook announced in May that it would start reducing the reach of false content on Instagram and gradually extend its fact-checking partnership to include the image-sharing platform. It also said it would start blocking hashtags and posts that spread anti-vaccine misinformation. Most recently, it tightened its political advertising rules ahead of next year's US presidential election. Launched in December 2016, following the controversy surrounding the impact of Russian meddling and online fake news in the US presidential election, Facebook's partnership now involves more than 50 independent fact checkers in over 30 countries. As always, another interesting article. Do you think that I've ever covered a fake news article? If you do, leave a comment below and I will try to reply to you. Okay, let's have a look at some of the words and phrases used in this article, which you may not know. So the first one we have is launched. It's a verb, and it means to start or set something in motion, an activity or an enterprise. In our context, Facebook has started a new feature on its platforms. Next, we have counter. It's also a verb and it means to speak or act in opposition to. In this context, questions remain as to whether the new feature goes far enough to act in opposition to the disinformation. Is it strong enough? Disinformation, a noun. It means false information which is intended to mislead, especially propaganda issued by a government organization to a rival power or the media. Disinformation in 2019 is a huge issue, so I chose this word just in case you didn't know what it means. In our context, Facebook's new feature allows its users to flag posts that they believe contain false information. Raft of. It's a phrase and it's informal. Uh, it means a very large number of people or things. In this context, a wider raft of measures or wider number of measures are needed to tackle the problems of fake news. Announced. It's a verb and it means to make a formal public statement about a fact, occurrence or intention. In this context, Facebook has told the public that it has intentions to start reducing the amount of fake news on its platforms. Tightened. It's also a verb, and it means to make or become tight or tighter. Now, in our context, it doesn't quite mean that. It means that the rules were made stricter. If a rule is made tighter, it means the rule is stronger. Next, we have controversy. It's a noun, and it means a prolonged public dispute, debate, or contention concerning a matter of opinion. In this context, there has been a public debate around whether Russia had meddled in the 2016 US elections. And finally, meddling. Meddling is a verb. And it means to involve oneself in a matter 
without right or invitation to interfere unwantedly. So in this context, Russia is alleged to have unwantedly interfered with the US elections in 2016. Okay, let's have a look at our synonym match for today's video. The first word we have is launched. Begun. Counter. Resist. Disinformation. Propaganda. Raft of. Abundance. Announced. Tightened. Toughen. Controversy. Discussion. Meddling. Interference. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please stick around, there are more. And if you would like to leave me a comment, I will reply to you as soon as I see it. Also remember that I will be choosing one person from the comment section each week to have a 60 minute one-to-one -one free English class. So please do that and I will pick one of you guys. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.